Hey guys, I'm back. Sorry it's been a week. I had some tests because it was like the last week of school and stuff. But yeah, I'm back today. Um, anyways, I wanted to, uh, release like, uh, an optimization slash settings pack for Roblox. Specifically Arsenal in this case because I put in some custom crosshairs and stuff. I've been wanting to do this for a while now. I just like really never got to it, but... Since, like, summer's starting now, I'm gonna try to actually do all my video ideas, even, like, the old ones that I, like, planned to do, but just ended up scrapping. But, yeah, uh, in the description of the video, there'll probably be, like, a Mediafire or a Google Drive where you can just go download it. So, if you want to get it from there, um, so you get it, it's free. I won't do some stupid ad flight crap where you have to go through virus. It's just a direct download link. Now, let me kind of show you everything that you'll get in the folder. So, I'm on my desktop right now, and this is what the file should look like, just as is roblox setup .rr. if you don't know how to extract rar files um you need a program called winrar and i'll have that in the description for you to download so yeah here we have the actual folder uh if you click into this the first thing we have is crosshair overlay master and basically what this is is a crosshair overlay thing it's the one i use it originally came from too perfect um it's his program i guess but the way you use it is basically this overlay.png if it's centered like in the center of the screen like that it'll overlay it onto your screen the way you run it is you just run this exe and um it opens up these little command prompt window right here and as long as that window's open the crosshair will overlay on your screen and then when you close it it goes away um over here in crosshairs i left some other ones that i've used so the first one which is the original one that comes with the software um it just looks like this this is a pretty nice crosshair to use and then also a yellow circle and then um the version of the crosshair i'm currently using but in yellow instead of white there's also um a couple other subfolders so these are some circles these are like some crosses here's some like rotated crosses uh, here are some CSGO crosshairs and just like various different colors and as well just like dots And if you're wondering how to actually replace them What you're gonna want to do is take any one of these files like for example this one and you're gonna want to name it overlay.png and then just um, Replace this overlay.png and the crosshair overlay master with that one and then um, when you run the exe It'll do the one you just added instead of the previous if you are trying to replace the crosshairs with some of these they actually aren't centered, like they're pretty small images. So if you're wondering how to actually like resize all of these to be correct, what you're going to want to do is go to any website or like use a program to put it in the center of the screen. So in this case, I'll use Photopea, which is a free tool online. So what you're going to want to do is uh, make the width and height, whatever your screen resolution is. So I have a 1080p monitor, so I'll do 1920 by 1080. And what you're going to want to do is import one of these crosses and you'll notice that it'll be uh like in the top left so you can do that is just move it into the center of the screen there we go okay so i just centered it and um, what you're gonna want to do now is hide the background by pressing this little i button here and then you can just uh save this uh export it as a png and then from there you can replace it or whatever in crosshair overlay master next subfolder we have the classic fps unlocker uh you can get this off github if you don't want to get it from here but this is pretty much like what you want for any roblox game because otherwise you literally cannot get more than 60 fps even if you have a god tier pc if you don't already know how to use it all you got to do is just double click it and then it'll run this little exe here and then if you look under your running programs it should be there the next two folders are reshade and row shade so starting off with reshade this is basically like a universal rtx shader so whatever game you're putting it on like if it supports opengl or vulkan it'll be able to install and since roblox has opengl you can install that on it so in this case i labeled it for roblox studio because i also left in row shade which is like a more polished like fully like roblox install it's designed for roblox it's like a sub version of this so i'll show you how to use both of them so starting off with reshade you're gonna want to double click this and then click here to select a game so i'm gonna do roblox studio for this one um because the row shade is for uh roblox player so what you're gonna do is go to your windows and then click on roblox studio more open file location and then open file location again and then essentially what you can do now is copy this location path go into the installation guide and press browse and go into the same thing and then you can select the exe the roblox studio beta make sure it's this one open and then click this open gl button and then it'll bring you to the screen and you're gonna um, select all of these uncheck and then check all and then okay 
and then it'll install all of it for you. If you want to do a uh, reshade for Roblox, you just copy the same thing, but on Roblox Player. But in this case, I left in row shade because it's a lot easier and it's actually just meant for Roblox. So if you run this exe here, um, it'll bring you in like an actual polished installation guide where you can install it really easily. So next you're going to want to click install, except mine says repair because I installed it a couple days ago. And you can just um, leave these to default. Next and then choose presets. Basically just check all of these so then you can try out different presets and I'll install all the stuff. Next, and then click exit. There you go, you have that installed now. So now that I'm in Arsenal, I can show you all the stuff in action. So first, uh, let's turn on the FPS unlocker. So now if you look, our FPS should immediately go to like 400 because my PC is actually good. Then I can run the crosshair overlay.exe and get my custom crosshair loaded. And as well, since I installed row shade and reshade, I have, um, if I press, I think F7, yeah, it opens up this menu here and I have all of these different effects you can use. Now this is like technically for RTX. Um, I don't even use it for that, which I'll show you in a second. But if you wanted to, you could load one of these um, RTX presets. So, for example, this one here, you have to toggle it, but yeah, there you go. This is like RTX or whatever. It's kind of a gimmick. I wouldn't even really use this. But if you're wondering what I actually use this for, um, if you want to get artificial motion blur, which is pretty good, um, there is a motion blur effect here. So now I, if I go into the game here, you can see the motion blur when I'm moving around. There's a couple other effects that I would recommend, like testing out, like adaptive sharpen. If you look in the background. It's like getting more clear which i actually find useful um for like 2v2s and stuff because you can see people farther away much more clearly um but yeah that's gonna wrap it up for the showcase uh download link will be in the description and thank you guys for watching i'll see you later peace I begin to assemble